Ahoy, shipmates. For a change today, we've got a little action in port. The reason for this is the weather conditions are absolutely perfect today. Got no wind and a wonderful patchy sun to have a look at the Barzan. I don't normally film ships when they're stationary in port, but I haven't had a lot of opportunity with the new drone recently due to weather conditions to actually have a good old play with the camera. So I've come down to the container port terminal of Southampton Port to try a few shots. In fact, my objective here is to make some photographs that are good enough that I can upload to a stock website and hopefully one day see on the front of a magazine. As you can see here, it really is perfect weather. While we're here, let's have a quick talk about the Barzan, shall we? It was christened in April of 2015. And when she was christened, she was in fact the largest container ship in the world. But as of September 2020, the Barzan does not even feature in the top 15 largest container ship classes in the world. Things have really moved on very rapidly in the world of container ships. But as you can see here, look at this, look at the water, it's like a mill pond. That's because of the lack of wind at the moment. The sun is dappled coming through heavy clouds. It's fairly early in the morning, it's about uh, 9, 9.30 in the morning, so it's still a rising sun. It's still got a bit of colour to it. It's not, not as harsh as midday sun. Well, I think I can feel an opportunity coming here. Yep, give it a tweak. Oh, I think that's a very worthy shot. I like that really see the container port in action, all the containers and the straddle carriers and the cranes. Let's see have a let's go down to the other end. Let's go down to the pointy end and see what's happening down there. Gross tonnage is a hundred and ninety five thousand and the length of four hundred meters a beam of 58.6 and a draft of 16 meters. Top speed, surprisingly, is 22.8 knots. 42.2 kilometers an hour for all you continental types, or 26.2 miles per hour in good old Queen's Imperial. manned by a crew of 35. At all importantly, she has a total capacity of 18,800 TEUs, so that's 20-foot equivalent units. And most of those containers you can see are 40-foot containers. So somewhere in the region of 10,000 containers. I wonder if the magazines will prefer shots without the name of the ship on them. Let's try one from here. I don't really think the weather was playing ball with me on this one. The sun went behind a few clouds. It's all gone a bit flat. No, no, don't like that one. A valiant attempt, but just, I don't know if the 
the framing was wasn't quite on par and the the colors certainly weren't doing it for me there just wasn't enough wasn't enough in depth to the image so we'll have a nip along here while we're here have a look as you can see it's filling up with containers this is typical of this class of ship the bridge is actually towards the mid of the ship rather than the traditional designs where they all used to be at the rear As you can see, there's quite a few spaces. All those goods from China are arriving. Need somewhere to go. You might say to yourself, well, how do they get to where they're going? Well, they're offloaded from the container ship and they're piled up behind here. And the straddle carriers, you can see at the top of the screen, move along the rows, collect the containers and deposit them on the awaiting articulated lorries. Just looks like the largest toy set any child could imagine. Meccano on steroids. Mesmerizing. One of the few exports that you can really see in the Port of Southampton here is scrap metal. At this end of the port, there's an ever growing pile of the stuff. And here's a bulk carrier waiting to be loaded up. I have no idea where this scrap metal comes from. I'm guessing all around the country. And my suspicion is it's going to China. But I might not be right. Only there was some way of finding out. And you can see it really is quite an enormous part of scrap metal there. And in fact, there's even a truck with a fresh delivery arriving. A little zoom in there and have a look. Well, I'm guessing it's good it's all being recycled rather than disposed of. But back to the ship action. Okay, so the light has returned to its exciting dappled effect again. I think it's time to squeeze off another one. Oh yeah, come on, that's this is getting newsworthy publishable, surely. It's got a good good balance of colours, even got some greenery as well. And a straight on one as well. I actually ended up taking a number of pictures to actually get this one. Because the dappled effect of the sun was particularly heavy over the Harpag Lloyd name, which meant it was incredibly bright and very distracting. But after a while, the clouds moved and we ended up with this one. I think it's this one or the one before that I will submit. But until next time, shipmates. <laughs>